Hey guys, welcome to WNN. My name is Tanner, and I'll be your host. For our first clip, we have Sergio and Dylan with Fake Cooking and the weather. Go ahead and take it away. Today we're going to be making something that Gordon Ramsay showed me himself. Let me go get the ingredients. Oh wait, it's ready. Oh this? I just like cold play. Guys, if you want to make a bologna sandwich but you don't have bread, I got the solution for you. First, you're going to need some bologna. Then, some cheese. And final ingredient, that's right, crackers. Alright guys, since we're making one sandwich, we're going to cut only a little piece off, so... A uh, little piece off the cheese too. And we're going to cut in the square. I'm done. I'm done. Alright guys. Oh wait, 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 wait. Where the heck is Mario Judah? Anyways, sandwich is done. Alright, awesome. And now this time we have Angel and Zoe with some real cooking. Hello everyone. Today we're going to be learning how to make nice and simple breaded chicken. We'll start off by adding one egg into a bowl. Next we add salt and pepper. Add in a tablespoon of oil, and then we're going to whisk thoroughly. In a separate bowl, add half a cup of cornstarch, a fourth cup of flour, and mix well. Next, we cover the chicken pieces in the egg mixture and then coat it in the flour mix. Heat up your oil. Next, we put the chicken pieces into the oil. Flip after about two to four minutes. Take out after 4 to 6 minutes or until golden brown and crisp. And there you go, breaded chicken. Alright, next up we have my friend Sincere to give us some world updates. Take it away. Hello, my name is Sincere and today I'm going to be giving you guys some world updates. Um, there's really only one thing going on right now and that's the global pandemic. So, I'm going to just give you guys some updated numbers on that. There's currently around 95 million cases going on worldwide. 24 million of those are coming right here in the U.S. Um, I believe we're doing the worst out of all countries around the world. Um, we have about 400,000 deaths um, from the U.S. alone. 2 million overall around the world. The states that are doing the worst overall are California, Arizona, Arkansas, New York, and South Carolina. So really high population areas are where the case is really thriving. There is a vaccine that is out. Um, 12 million doses have been given out in the US. 31 million overall worldwide. Um, as of right now, there hasn't been any reported crazy, super dangerous side effects or Anything crazy has came out of someone taking the vaccine. Um, if you're allergic to something in it, obviously you shouldn't take it. Don't do that. Yeah, that is it for this segment. Um, thank you. All right, cool. Next up, we have Joshua with some mind-blowing shower thoughts. Take it away. So if you water a plant, it grows. And if you water water, it also grows. What? So if you drop soap on the floor, is the soap dirty or is the floor clean? Okay, uh, is there a synonym for synonym? Is if So if you're waiting for a waiter, aren't you the waiter? So a clean browser history is also a dirty one. If you are 99 pounds and you eat one pound of nachos, are you 1% nachos? What are you in a rush for, dog? Nachos. All right, next up, guys, we got some announcements. Take it away. Hey, all you gamers, eSports is back and better than ever. For our spring season, we're going to feature League of Legends and Rocket League, 
as well as some new games we're going to have FIFA 21, Madden 21, and Super Smash Bros. Keep an eye on your canvas. Information will be coming out soon. My name is Rosalia Hernandez. And I'm Katrina Miller, and we are co-founders of the I Am Project for Women of Color in STEM. As Westwood alumni who went on to pursue college degrees in STEM, our core mission is to build a strong network of support for future generations of scholars following in our footsteps. We believe that self-empowerment is an essential skill for women of color to survive and thrive in spaces not originally structured with them in mind. Because of this, we ask everyone in our network to create an I am affirmation that they will take with them on their STEM journey. Our flagship program is the locally funded I am scholarship, a one-time award granted annually to a graduating senior at Westwood. And we are excited to announce the opening of the 2021 I am scholarship application season. For more information on eligibility, how to apply, and how to put together a competitive application packet, we highly encourage signing up for our info session on the evening of Monday, February 1st. You can sign up by using the form link below or by visiting our website at www.imstemproject.org slash scholarship. Thank you, and we look forward to reading your applications. Auditions for the musical Songs for a New World are live and open. Visit the Drama Room by the Auditorium to pick up your sheet music and scan the QR code to fill out the application. Auditions are all online and videos are due by this Monday night, January 25th. See Mr. Chavez or Mr. Denton for more details. Westwood Student Council presents Awareness Week 2021. Each day, we'll be paying tribute and bringing awareness to a different cause. Special information about each day, as well as statistics and contact hotline phone numbers, will be given on the announcements, as well as the Stuco Instagram page at www.stuco. Monday, January 25th is Mental Health Awareness. Wear green. Tuesday, January 26th is Special Needs Awareness. Wear blue, green, yellow, and or red. Wednesday, January 27th is Cancer Awareness. Please feel free to wear a color to represent a specific type of cancer that has affected you, a loved one, or family. Wear white for lung cancer, gray for brain cancer, pink for breast cancer, yellow for bone cancer, orange for leukemia, emerald green for liver cancer, lime green for lymphoma, light blue for prostate cancer, dark blue for colon cancer, or periwinkle for stomach cancer. Thursday, January 28th is Domestic Abuse Awareness. Please wear purple. And Friday, January 29th is Suicide Prevention Awareness Day. Please wear yellow. It's an awareness week with spirit, helping to bring to light important causes that affect our Westwood community. All right, guys, I'm Tanner. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to fear the spear. Bye, guys.